The second video lesson on past tenses is focused on the past continuous. The past continuous is used to speak about an action that has started sometime in the past and is not yet complete. How do we form it? As all continuous forms, the auxiliary needed is the verb to be. In this case, considering that it is the past, it is conjugated in the past simple and followed by, by the main verb in the base form plus the ing ending. So you will have subject plus was, were, plus base form of main verb, followed by the ing ending. As you can see, in, in the, the, the verb to be changes twice in the past simple. Was is used for the first and third person singular, whereas for all the other persons we use were. I was playing ball. You weren't playing ball. Was he playing ball? Weren't we playing ball? In this case, you can see we have a positive sentence, a negative sentence, a question, a negative question. When and how do we use the uh, past continuous? To speak about actions that have started sometime in the past and are still going on as we speak. Therefore, they are not yet complete. Yesterday, at this time, I was fl flying to New York City, meaning that I am still in New York City, but that yesterday, at this specific time, I was flying to New York City. In the second case, to speak about a condition in the past undergoing gradual development. In this case, the verb to get is often used to underline the progression of the action. So, it was getting darker, I was getting bored. As time passes, the action increases its intensity. In case number three, to speak about two actions taking place in the past at the same time. The two clauses can be tied together by conjunctions such as and or while. While my mother was beating the eggs, I was peeling the apples. As you can see, there are two people in the sentence executing two actions at the same time. In case number four, to underline irritation about something being done repetitively in the past. They were always shouting. In the fifth case, to describe an environment during a narrative or to create an atmosphere and background. Those actions that take place interrupting suddenly the action that was taking place before changes the situation and the verb is conjugated in the past simple. So, for instance, Dad was working on his computer, Mom was reading and the children were already sleeping when suddenly a, a scary storm broke out. As you can see, the, the initial actions that are still ongoing are suddenly interrupted by a scary storm that broke out unforeseen. Notice the past conti the continuous is often used in a phrase followed or preceded by one with the verb in the past simple as we already seen. The two phrases, the main and the secondary, are usually tied together by the conjunctions and or while, or they can be tied together by the adverb when. The phrase with the verb in the past continuous regards an action that is play, taking place in a given moment and is still continuing. The other one regards an action that can be sudden or unforeseen and that has been completed while the other one is still taking place. Another example. When I rang the bell, a sudden or unforeseen action in the past simple, Rob was having a shower. Rob was already having a shower when I rang the bell. So, the action of having a, sh a shower was already taking place before the other one interrupted it. And this one 
is conjugated in the past continuous. We, w we can look at three different ways of saying the same sentence. The other day I was walking to my office when I found a wallet on the ground. As I have already said, the same sentence can be said in other uh, in another, at least another two ways. So, I found a wallet on the ground while, as, while or as I was walking to my office the other day. When I was walking to my office the other day, I found a wallet on the ground. As you can see, the conjunctions while and as can introduce only phrases or clauses with the verb in the past continuous. On the other hand, when can be used to introduce both. When, while, as, I was looking out of the window, I saw a man running in the street. I was looking out of the window when I saw a man running in the street. Therefore, there are three different ways of, see, of saying the same sentences with slight differences that are substantial.